Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chinese Pod. My name is Michelle Wu, and I'm Chi. So it's the International Women's Day. It's on the eighth of March. In Chinese, eighth of March is they call it San Ba Fu Nui Jie. Yeah, because it's the third month. Third month March, San San Yue, and then Ba Hao, and so San Ba is third of March. Third of March. But did you know, Chi? Did you actually know that San Ba is a derogatory term to like unpleasantly call a woman a B word? I I, I wasn't <laughs> gonna say that, but now you said it. <laughs> a B word or an S word. <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of funny how they chose that date, Sampa. It's a bad coincidence. Actually, I found out that like they had a lot of different dates for International Women's Day. It's just, right. It started out like way back in the night okay. in nineteen eleven. Wow. And they had different dates too. It wasn't just March eighth. Mm. So yeah, it, everything moved and it changed. But from what I know, International Women's Day is called Guo Ji Fu Nu Jie. Guo Ji Fu Nu Jie. Yes, yeah. not San Ba Fu Nu Jie. San Ba Guo Ji Fu Nu Jie. I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, International Guo Ji, and then Fu Nu is woman. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So much better. Yeah, is like the uh, festival for, for the festival and. International Women's Day is not only to acknowledge the pioneer, the women pioneers of our lifetime. You know, not not only just the name. Uh, so, people, for example, the- Mary Curie, uh, mm-hmm. Florence Nightingale, I would say. Yeah, but then, but then. International Women's Day, it's not only just to commemorate the icons, you know. Mm. People celebrate this day to like really acknowledge the powerful women in their own lives. Like a mother figure, an aunt, a sister. Yeah. How do you commemorate all these new Qiangren? You know, in your So Qiang is Power. powerful. Qiang Ren, Ren, obviously, uh, people. So Nu Qiang Ren, so female, powerful people. So, like, uh, what's the English word for it? What's the best um, English word? For it? Um, strong woman. Strong woman. <laughs> so, oh, strong woman. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and I was reading about it and how to to commemorate all these new children, and they were saying, okay, we spend time with moms, celebrate with the women you admire, and you give back to other women. Yeah, accomplish a personal goal, invest in your career, and visit a local Women's Day event near you.、Hmm. This is like the popular yeah. suggestions. Yeah. A lot of students of Chinese Pod tell us while they love to speak and listen to Mandarin. They are a bit intimidated to learn how to read and write in it because of the complexity of Chinese characters. That's why we created the 66 Characters series. Try it and see for yourself. Let's look at the Chinese、uh, traditional viewpoints、uh, towards women. Okay.、Um, yeah, that's、I'm、actually sure, really important. Yeah, I'm、yeah. sure we have a lot of like the stereotypes about Chinese women, where you know the, f- the first thing maybe、uh, people would think about is that Chinese ladies are very submissive. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're very、um, maybe they're good with money too. I think that's kind of true too because,、uh, for example, take my mom for example. She's very、uh, um, thrifty. She's very thrifty. Yeah. And, very quick minded. Very quick minded,、mm-hmm. and and I think she's a new Chang'an too.、Right. Yeah. For me personally,、mm-hmm. I got a lot of her aggressiveness in a good way. Aggressiveness towards you know towards living,、uh, towards you know life. You know, I have to chase after my dreams. I have to work hard for my life、mm-hmm. from my mom. I got a lot of that from my mom. My, yeah, my, my got- dad's a bit more reserved. You know, kind of chill person. But I got a lot of that from my mom. So. I would celebrate that. That's so funny that you say that because my mom and my dad have the exact same dynamic. Like,、right. my my mom is definitely very overly zealous in life. Like, really wants everything for her kids. Like, I.e. me, and just really a woman hustler in the, in her career and everything that she does. Right. So yeah, it's kind of cool how how things have changed. Yeah, I think nowadays for.、Um, It's it's more so, but in a different way. In terms of the contemporary Chinese culture, women sometimes they ha- they have to stand strong too. Because,、uh, for example,、uh, we we know the word. This is talked about for many times. Sheng nu, leftover woman. So if you're yeah, if you are if you are more than let's say twenty six years old, twenty seven years old, then 
uh, in China, they kind of, our parents kind of pressured them to get married, you know, and in, in places, for example, in Shanghai and in Beijing, there are two of these parks, these plazas, and people uh, list their, their daughters and sometimes sons. It's, it's like an affair, you know, career affair, but no, it's like a dating affair, but you're <laughs> dating for your children, for the leftover, for the leftover so. woman. So obviously, this is a very, um, you know, very much talked about phenomenon. When you think about the one-child policy back in the seventies, uh, eighties, if people only would want uh, boys, and they, um, unfortunately, some some girls are being left you know behind. Le- left behind. You, you know, there, actually, there would be more guys than than, than women. It is true, but we still end up with this uh, leftover woman phenomenon. Yeah, you know, actually, funny that you say that because there's actually an actual idiom that. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's basically 生出来的女儿, 泼出去的水. So 生出来的女孩, so the the daughters that you have that were born that were born, is like. Water, water that's that being you, thrown that's out. Being thrown now, out. it's not because like they don't want to keep the do- their daughters. It's also because when you marry a, a woman off, right. like, you know, if you have a daughter, they don't take your last name. Right. So it's as good as like you're yeah. you're already throwing them out. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of the inheritance and in terms of the pride of the family, the, the, the pride of line. the last name, the bloodline. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And we also have a line called... 每个成功的男人背后都有一个女人. Well, I think there is an English say, saying too, yeah. equivalent. Behind every successful, behind every successful man, man is, is a woman. Yeah, it's a something woman though. Is it something woman? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an endearing woman or a supportive. Supportive woman. Yeah. And so uh, we, we, I don't know whether you know the song by, because uh, I'm a music geek, <laughs> the song called uh, This is a Man's World by James Brown. James Brown is the, the person who sang, I feel good. Da, 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 da. <laughs> everybody so, knows that yeah, song. Yeah, everybody knows that song. And he has uh, another song, another hit song called uh, This is a Man's World. And it goes, this is a man's world and then she sings it three times this is a man's world but it would be nothing without a woman's heart uh, that's a very good song and then and in the verse it says i uh, see man made the cars and man made everything mm-hmm. and uh, however there still ne- needs to be like a woman behind every successful man and and that's the sort of you know when it's in the 60s and the 50s is is sort of the western mindset as well Right, but now the generation has changed, and I think it's kind of not appropriate to to an extent to say that. And and I believe so too. Women can chase after; they they don't have to be behind a man to have their uh, individuality uh, proven. Mm-hmm. And so in China, we also see so many news and documentaries about these so-called leftover women trying to say to the parents, look, I don't need to be, be married to have a happy life. I can have a happy life myself too. I have a good career. We also have a traditional Chinese saying that says, 书中自有黄金屋, 书中自有颜如玉. So we have inside a book right we have a golden house and inside a book we have uh, a um, jade like beauty so shu zhong zi yo huang jing wu so huang jing wu is the golden house the golden house oh and then shu zhong zi yo yan yan is the uh, complexion wow. right so so face like jade jade like face a pretty girl beautiful woman basically so it's traditional saying if you study hard you know you can get a good job you can get a lot of money <laughs> you get a good wife for many chinese families they, you know the parents they try to force their kids to you know get a good wife get married and get a good husband and, and have many kids and you know, they they always ask this question for example when you are in university they say oh you shouldn't uh, go out with anybody you should focus on your studies mm-hmm. and the moment you get out of university they say oh when are you bringing home your uh, fiance <laughs> yeah when are yeah. you getting married but i remember like growing up the pressure for us wasn't really to like study but it was always like to find like a doctor to marry that was oh. like way back when and then as like as like the decades like kind of kind of 
went by, it was like, okay, now you really have to focus on your education, you know? And then it's noticing that times have changed and how women are now ex- also expected to yeah. like do really well for themselves. In terms of the career. Yeah, yeah. it just, just makes it all so much better. I feel. Yeah. Some people still have their disagreeing moments about that. (laughs) The more old fashioned, yeah, ones, right? Yeah. So in Chinese, we also have this traditional idiom, a cheng yu, xian liang shu de. You know, xian liang is being very uh, virtuous. Mm -hmm. Liang is like a. a, uh, 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 Conscientious. Conscientious, yeah. I would say, yeah. Shu is like um, virtuous, is the best word. Uh, That husband would love. But not in a very like submissive way, not in like, oh, I, I'll do everything you say, you know, that, that sort of mindset. Actually, no. Back in China, when we called xian liang shu de, we would say that they, they raise the kids well, they, you know, they do the, the sewing, they do the cooking, they do the washing very well. Very but supportive. Very supportive, yeah. yeah I, 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 I don't want to go into that sort of extreme submissive sort of stereotype and it's not i would be honest here that my parents are looking for for their daughter-in-law and and for me i would say so too for my uh, wife future wife that i would want to find someone xian liang shu de. and that's not to say that's not a derogatory term no, it's that, not. That, that's very it's uh, like a mother figure you know yeah, a mother figure like yes every guy that i know always looks for like the mother in in a woman like yeah. Like something that can remind them of their own moms, but not like that, you know, someone who can like cook, even though they don't have to, you know. Right. And at least for me, I feel like a woman is more attractive if she can not only be a new Chang Ren. Yeah. And be able to just go out there and really hustle and be at the top of their career. But when they go home. Exactly. Yeah. They still like cook, take care of the family. And so this guy and there's there's just an extra attraction. I would say so. Yeah. yeah I right? would say so. Yeah. For guys, I would say, <laughs> you know, we look at the looks, obviously, you know, because we are guys. But, but I think deep down inside us, we also want that exactly what you like you were saying, that we want a virtuous and very caring yeah very caring figure because i think men needs to be listened to as well (laughs) yeah i think a lot of the times (laughs) Mm. hello friends this is sarah chung a content creator for chinese pod each week we find new topics relevant to you and send them to your mobile device Currently, we have over 4,000 lessons on the app covering a variety of topics. A huge thank you to all of our subscribers who make this amazing journey possible for all. If you are not a subscriber and you would like to try us out with no obligation, go to ChinesePod.com and start your free 30-day trial. You have nothing to lose and so much to gain, so sign up now. So we also have another uh, Chang Yu called Qun Xia Zhi Chen. Qun Xia. Qunzi. What is qunzi? Oh, qunzi. Skirt. Skirt. Qunxia. Yeah. Okay, underneath the skirt. Underneath the skirt. Zhi uh, chen. Zhi uh, is, you know, the uh, that of, right? The possessive. Mm-hmm. And chen is is actually uh, an official uh, and, and under the emperor. Oh. So all your, all your advisors to the emperor and all that. And obviously when they see the king back in the days, they have to kneel down, you know. What we're saying here is that because the woman is so attractive and so maybe powerful as well, maybe strong, Nu Chang Ren, that men has to become their their chen, chen, the official. yeah, the, 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 the and, and, and and kneel down, <laughs> kneel down in front of them, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Because <laughs> uh, I mean, it's so tr- it's, it's so true. Like many women have like power over the, their their men, you know. Yeah. And, and vice versa, I think it, it works both ways. On the topic of Nu Qiang Ren, mm-hmm. uh, we also have the word uh, Nu Zhong Hao Jie. Uh, nu is uh, female. Mm-hmm. Nu Zhong, among women. Amongst women. women. Amongst women. Hao is a very heroic. Jie is like and a, an outstanding being. You know? mm-hmm. Nu Zhong Hao Jie, I think the best example is. Oh, Mulan. Yeah, it's Mulan. So uh, Mulan movie is coming up uh, starring Liu Yifei. 
like from Disney, she's obviously the traditional Chinese new Zhong Hao Jie, you know, going to the to the war pretending to be a man. I think that's very um, heroic. Heroic, you know, tra- kind of traditional Chinese view. You're so good as a woman, you become a man. That sort of mentality. So maybe it's not that suitable for contemporary sort of culture, but yeah. but that's the way Chinese people used to think about it. We also have a word called Jin Guo Ying Xiong. So Jin is the scarf. scarf. Yeah, the scarf. And well, obviously Ying Xiong is hero. Hero. But or hero. Here, but we are here, we are we're adding two words before Ying Xiong, before hero. Because when we talk about hero, it, it's, it's masculine. So right. uh, it's just the way the language works. But in here... So Jin Guo is the thing that they, they used to wear, yeah. like the big um, headdress yeah. that, that women used to wear. So... Being a Jin Guo Ying Xiong would be a hero with a headdress. <laughs> yeah, a heroine. Yeah, like a Joan of Arc sort of Mulan, Joan of Arc sort of sort of person. Yeah, there are many there are many great sayings about women, and these these have been around for a while. Yeah, well, it's up to interpretation of of course, but some of them are like in general more sort of the archaic, the older way of thinking about women that is perhaps not that suitable for mm. for for the culture of today and and some are for me personally i think xian liang shu de is is still very relevant yeah, today um yeah. i think i think we should look for xian liang shu de like you were like you were saying michelle that that you could have all the hustle and at the same time be nurturing be, that's the yeah. word yeah nurturing, nurturing. Yeah. xian liang shu de I think bringing back to the topic today, International Women's Day, it's really to commemorate the powerful women mm. and the women who made such a significant difference in your life. And you haven't, yeah. if you haven't done that already, I think it's a good idea to go to your mom or whoever that made a difference in your life and just yep. say thank you and like do something nice for them. Yeah. <laughs> and say, Fu Ni So, I mean, if you guys have any good stories you want to share about um, a woman figure in your life that really, really just changed you or just made such a difference in your life. Uh, Actually, if you are listening to uh, uh, this podcast on ChinesePod.com, you'll be able to see vocabs and uh, vocab reviews and expansion sentences. And says you can also add the vocabs to your dictionary, own dictionary, if you are a premium subscriber. So we encourage you to go to ChinesePod.com and subscribe to our services. Everyone listening in, thank you so much for listening in. And if you guys have any great additional Chinese words you can describe all the new Qiangren in your lives, go ahead and comment. We'd like to hear about it and stories yeah, I've shared like about share. my mother. We'd love to hear <laughs> and read it. And yep. thank you so much for joining us today on this podcast. And my name is Michelle Wu. And my name is Chi. And we'll see you next thank time. Thank you.